this is super cool, in my opinion. Um, yeah, conclusion. So where Dynamo could be used? First of all, automation, right? Automation of any single daily task you have for, for standard projects, non-standard projects. Also, the second area I see Dynamo that is really powerful is where we have super complex geometries. You know, architects, they, they created something crazy and we need to follow, you know, their designs. So then using a simple, you know, selection, making this, this selection on the architectural model, we can get this geometry into, rev, into Dynamo environment as a Dynamo uh, curves or, you know, uh, faces and, and process our structural designs. And the third area I, I personally uh, find Dynamo useful is when I run model checking. So I need to find, I need to check if everything is okay with my model. I need to check if there are like clashes. I can check clashes. I can, you know, check other, you know, things I'm um, modeling. So verification of models is, is another area where Dynamo can be, can be used. So I encourage anyone in the room to give it a try. To, first of all, you may play with this script that can be downloaded um, together with all these packages. Uh, if you want to uh, move on, and then, then I encourage you to go through the uh, hand, handout I put together. And um, if any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to, to help if you if you're stuck. Uh, if you, based on what you saw, especially um, during the structural design package part, um, if you have any suggestions, what could be good to have added to that package to extend, to extend you know, its current scope, just let me know. Um, depending on my you know, spare time I have, uh, I, can, I can add this because this is, this is what I do after hours. Um, happy to take any questions. Yeah. Um, I have a question about uh, rough opening rebar generation. Mm -hmm. And basically I see that you would click and then you, know, you would get rebar that would go around your opening. But what about the scenarios where you have corner bars that are long and would protrude out of the tops so you know you have a four foot corner bar, and two feet of it actually protrudes out above the top piece of your precast panel. Do you have a way to program in a parameter to turn that bar into a bent bar? Or oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. The way how you de define your geometry, it's totally up to you. And uh, if you need more information about your boundary conditions, let's say, of the concrete formwork geometry, you need to extend your selection, right? So, because we may, you, you, uh, we may have, I retrieved just host, right? Well, um, information about host. So selecting my opening, I got information about uh, geometrical conditions of my opening, plus information about its host, right? But nothing stops you, you know, to select, you know, other, you know, neighboring elements if you if you want, if you like, and they then you have more data to process in, in Dynamo, and whatever you want to model, you do it. So these are not only you know straight rebars. You can have you know L-shaped rebars, steer ups like you saw. I don't see any problems here. So it could be. It can be handled easily. So it was another question. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's possible actually. So I can I can come back to oh I have this example open so 